When working with large data tables in Excel, it's almost certain you'll encounter tables with blank rows. Blank rows are a common issue that prevent many Excel tools from working, including deleting duplicates, generating pivot tables, converting text to columns, and much more. In this video, you'll learn two methods to efficiently eliminate blank rows in Excel, so you don't run into any issues when working with the data. Let's get started. Our boss sent over this data and asked us to analyze it by the end of the day. However, there are many blank rows within the data set, so we need to delete them before we can start analyzing. The first method we are going to learn is how to delete blank rows using GoToSpecial. GoToSpecial allows us to select cells within our worksheet that meet a condition, such as blank cells, cells containing errors, formulas, constants, and much more. So we can utilize GoToSpecial to quickly select all the blank cells within our data table and then just delete them from there. To select blank cells using GoToSpecial, open the Find and Select dropdown on the Home tab and select Go to Special. From here, we need to choose blanks because we want to delete all the blank rows within the data set and then hit OK. As you can see, Go to Special automatically selected all the blank rows. Now all we have to do is delete them. We can delete them by right clicking any of the selected blank cells, selecting Delete, and then choosing Entire Row because we want to delete the blank rows. Hit OK and our data table is ready to go. This method is quick and simple, but will only work if you have rows that are completely blank within your data table. If you have rows containing a single blank cell, this method will also delete that row, deleting the data from your table. For example, here we have a data set containing blank rows and blank cells. If we open Go to Special, select blanks, and then delete the blank rows, all of the rows containing at least one blank cell are deleted. If you don't want to delete the rows containing data and just want to delete the completely blank rows, you will need to use the count a function method instead. We can use the count a function to count the number of non-blank cells within each row and then delete the rows that have a count of zero. To do this, enter the count a function in the column next to the data table and select the first row. Now enter the formula and fill it down the column by double clicking the autofill handle. As you can see, count A returned a zero for completely blank rows, and any row containing data has a result greater than zero. Next, we just have to delete the rows that have a value of zero in column G. To do this, add the filter toggles to the headers by opening the sort and filter dropdown on the home tab and selecting filter. Then filter column G by values of zero by opening the filter toggle, unselecting all values, selecting zero and hitting okay. The last step is to delete these rows by pressing Control shift right arrow then down arrow to select them, and then delete them by right-clicking any row, selecting Delete, and hitting OK. Now that we've deleted all the blank rows, we can remove the filters by opening the Sort and Filter dropdown and selecting Filter again. This time, we have successfully deleted all the blank rows without deleting any rows containing data. To wrap up, we learned how to delete blank rows using GoToSpecial and the count a function. Being able to efficiently delete blank rows will allow you to dive right into data analysis, tackle your boss's request, and conclude your task for the day. If you found this video helpful and wish to learn more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.